with the Chief Marketing Officer of Perfetti Brand Mill, Gunjan Khedan. Welcome, sir, to E4M's Conversations. Thank you for having me. Uh, I would love to know, I would love to dive right into the conversation directly. Um, my first question, this, uh, which is very evident from your t-shirt, <laughs> the upcoming campaign, Agar Bharat. Can you tell us more about it, the, the messaging that you're willing to uh, put across with this campaign? Um, so, I think Centerfresh is is a youth brand and we have always focused on um, the cultural nuances of, of the youth of India. And that's been the history of, uh, of the brand for the last 30 years. Uh, that is why we have always come up with campaigns that have been intriguing, quirky, funny uh, and engaging. Um, and in the spirit of that, um, we have worked very closely with the Gen Z of today uh, to understand what drives them, what motivates them, what pulls them back. And that is where we got this uh, insight that the youth of today uh, wants to move forward. Okay? Mm -hmm wants to accomplish more, wants to reach their fullest potential. They don't want to be held back by anything. They don't want stress or small happenings or mishappening hold them back. And that is why that therein came the insight of, of uh, moving on and in, enabling people to take a fresh perspective, a fresh view of things. Um, and that is where Agibar comes from. So, the idea that center fresh, which has been the icon of freshness um, for uh, Indian audiences, right? Um, a, a brand that gives freshness as a benefit. How does it unlock fresh perspectives and fresh views on things? So that is what Agibar stands for for us. Great, and uh, I think you've worked in Varun Dhawan for the same campaign. Uh why Varun Dhawan? I mean, I, I know he's the craziest of the lot as of now in the industry. Uh, he has a quirk of craziness into him. He has a connect with the audience. But as a brand, as from brand perspective, why do you think Varun Dhawan is the right set? Um, a few reasons. A, Varun Dhawan connects very well with the audiences in India, both in urban as well as in rural. He's very well known okay, and admired. Um, he is a person who reflects the personality of the brand. So he's fresh, he brings fresh perspectives, he is very energetic, he's cool, he's stylish. So these are all the things that the brand stands for, right? Um, and therefore we felt that Varun is uh, an excellent fit for us to carry this message across to the youth of India. Yeah. And that is where the collaboration between Varun and Center Fresh comes from. Makes sense. Uh, this time I feel you the brand has still taken up Aage Bar as a very motivational take on the the, uh, the brand tagline. But in the past, I, I'm just sharing personally, but say if I remember, even if I don't remember the name of the product, I always remember the taglines, right? I remember the Dimaag Ki Batti Jala De, I remember the, uh, a lot of other very impressive taglines. So how, how as a brand have you managed to make a strong brand recall with your taglines? And second of all, I've always seen the sense of brands that you have to take a humor take towards it. Why so? Why uh, in the advertising and marketing group do you think taking a humor as a route is the best way possible to connect? Um, so let me answer the first part of the question. Why the taglines have worked and, and why do they make sense? Uh, I think most of the profitable brands have been built on rich understanding of India and its culture. Yeah. Um, and most of the taglines that you remember are essentially colloquial terms, right? And um, we have used some of these colloquial terms and looked at the personality of the brand and the benefit of the brand, and we've tried to integrate it. And that's been the beauty of, of, of marketing in Perfetti, right? Um, and that is why there is a strong uh, connect of Perfetti advertising to these um, colloquial terms or idioms or whatever you call it. Them, right, and and to that extent, Aage Bird is um, a step forward in the same direction. Yeah. Aage Bird is something that we use on a daily basis to uh, get over things, to move on, um, to forget about the past, okay, uh, and generally to motivate each other. Mm -hmm. Right, uh, we felt that uh, this is a set of words that this brand at the juncture it is can really own. 
and project itself as a brand that empowers people and collaborates with people and helps them to move on. So that is where the genesis of Aage Burn and we believe it's in the same direction as the old quirky lines that we have. Um, answer to your second question on, on why human is the best food. I won't say it's the best food, but considering the category we are in, which is mostly impulse, mm-hmm. right? Um, we have to be top of mind mm-hmm. at all the time. And one of the best ways to stay top of mind is to create communication yeah. that is um, engaging, that is memorable, and and therefore, uh, in some cases, also has had shock value, mm-hmm. right? Um, so, to that extent, humor as a way of uh, storytelling works very well to achieve these objectives. Yeah. With uh, drama, probably your memorability or your engagement may not be that high. So, so that's why we have always focused on emotion. We have focused on humor as a tool um, to tell our stories. Uh, so that's been ideally why most of the profity brands have, have been around humor. Yeah. Uh, but I'm not sure if that's the only way to tell a great story. I'm sure there are many other ways. Makes sense. Uh, to connect with your audience, what is the marketing mix that you follow? If you can make me understand, uh, what is your uh, investment, not in terms of money, and you know, asking for any numbers here, but in terms of investment, in terms of effort, where do you invest aggressively your effort into print, TV, radio, OH, and why? Why do you think that's more effective for the target audience you want to reach out to? So, if I was to answer this question from the lens of Center of Fresh, mm-hmm. right, uh, it is a youth brand, and youth is as much on TV as it's on digital. Okay. and uh, many other media. So in case of a brand like Center Fresh, I would spend definitely on TV because uh, TV still in India is uh, the best and the most efficient way to reach mass audience irrespective of the age group. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, so TV is definitely a core part of, of our uh, media strategy. Around that we have digital that helps us build incremental reach especially with the core TV. Mm-hmm. which is the youth of India, right? Uh, because that is where they say. So there we take YouTube, we take a lot of other um, uh, platforms, Instagram, uh, ShareChat, Mods, etc, etc, right? So we build a fairly comprehensive plan, which is a mix of TV and digital. And then we also look at other ways of building impact, mm-hmm. right? So whether it's out of home, whether it's uh, metro branding, whether it's uh, anything else that, that enables us. A uh, large part of our business also comes from rural, so we also need to ensure that uh, there is visibility of the brand in rural. So we also do a lot of um, awareness and visibility um, activity in, in rural, um, whether it's bus stand branding, whether it's bus branding or, or many other things. Mm-hmm. So it's a fairly, fairly complex mix of activities that we do, but um, a lot of it centers around what we do. Makes sense, adds up. I think uh, since you also said there's a lot of demand in rural as well, I would love to know more about uh, Puffetti and then's reach to tier 2 and tier 3 cities. So, Puffetti is one of the best distributed FMCG companies in India. Um, we reach close to about 5.5 million outlets as per Nielsen, and they are spread across urban and rural. So, we have a fairly good reach in rural as well. We have our own network. Uh, which is uh, through our sub stock network, we also go to wholesale. So we have a fairly decent reach across our brands and some of the brands like Fresh and Fruit mm. are really the brand that have a massive distribution in rural. Uh, both Fresh and Fruit get almost about 50% of their sales wow. from um, rural India. Yeah. So uh, clearly that is one part of India that we can't ignore. So we and that is why in our media strategy, it has to be a good balance of India and Bharat. Mm-hmm. Right? Um, and that is what we focus on. Right. Uh, coming towards a more holistic view of the whole category, uh, what do you think are the top three most emerging consumer trends in the confectionery space when it comes to mints and gums and candies? Um, there are many trends, um, but some of the trends that we've started noticing is um, people like to experiment a lot nowadays so you see things like tangy products yeah. coming through right um 
then um, new categories are gaining a lot of traction. Um, we play in a category called Jellies, mm-hmm. uh, which is doing very well and it's uh, outpacing most of the other confectionery categories. Uh, as people get more and more um, aware of what can be available and what is available across the world, they, and as Indians travel abroad, they get to see what um, products um, can really um, uh, make make a difference to them. And we try and build uh, some of that intellect and some of that um, uh, science and innovativeness into our portfolio. Mm-hmm. So, so a whole lot of stuff, whether bringing new technology or uh, new uh, formats or new categories. Um, so those are some of the things that drives Kandrava Preference and that has enabled us to continue to be the market leader in confection in India. Right. Uh, this whole campaign launch is very well placed in time with the upcoming festive season where uh, gifting and Consuming of sweets and gums and candies and products like those are very much on a high scale. Uh, how are you getting aggressive with your marketing plans with the upcoming festive season and products? Um, Scent of fresh and gums is not a category that does is, is skewed towards festive season right? yeah. because of the nature of the category. We have certain categories in indulgence that tend to do better. During the festive season, um, we definitely over invest in, in those categories during the festive season, uh, mostly in our presence in retail and our visibility in retail and the activations that we do in stores. Uh, we bet uh, heavily on Halloween, um, and because we believe it's it's an emerging trend in India, and it's getting It's actually a very fun thing to ask. Actually. Do you think India is getting very much into Halloween? Right, we it see is. kids of today generally Absolutely. getting crazy about it. Absolutely. It was never in my age at least. We always exactly. knew just Diwali and Max to Max if we were, you know, accustomed to a Western culture, it was Christmas. Max to Max. Beyond that, we've not done Thanksgiving and all of those things, but it's just a thing in this generation now. Absolutely. So Halloween is getting amazingly popular yeah. uh, in India. And we see uh, an outcome of that because Chupa is a brand that so over invest in Halloween. And we have sell, sold millions of bags during Halloween uh, on, on Chupa. So Halloween is something that we really overinvest in, especially because of the audience that uh, that we go after, which is mostly kids, uh, and the fact that Halloween is is an occasion that is designed for kids. So that is one big occasion for us. Diwali is uh, definitely a, a big occasion. Then Christmas is something that we do again um, some activations on. So the next uh, three four months are going to be really busy for us, and we are. Um, uh, very positive uh, in our outlook for the next uh, few months. Thank you so much for this time. Thank I you. love to have a conversation with you. Amazing insight. Lovely time. Thank Same you so much, sir. Thank you. We will just sign it off. Thank you, people, for uh, tuning in to EFRN's conversation with CMOs. We'll be back with more episodes very soon. Thank, Thank you. you.